My name is Lukman and I'm from the developer relations team at Paystack and in this video I want to show you how to use the Paystack plugin for Bubble. Bubble is a no-code app building framework that lets you build all kinds of applications from obvious apps to large client enterprise apps and with the Paystack plugin you can now accept payments in your no-code applications. Before we get started I should mention that this tutorial video assumes that you already use Bubble and can build apps with it. If you aren't already familiar with Bubble, I've included a link in the description below on how to get started that you might want to go through before proceeding. All right, let's dive in. The first thing we want to do is install the plugin. Go to paystack.com slash integrations. This is a directory where we have all the platforms we're integrated into and search for Bubble. Get this integration. And from here, um, to install the plugin, you want to select the application we want you want to install the plugin for. Where do you want? And in, in this case, that's Elite Pass Open Editor. And there it is. Install the plugin. Next, you want to configure the plugin with the API keys. There are four different API keys to um, you have to fill in here. Paystack, from the Paystack dashboard as well, you also have four keys provided to you. You have your live secrets and public key, and as well, you also have your live tests and public, um, your tests, public and secret key as well. So for the public keys, once you copy your test public key and set it in public key dev, right, and your test secret key, should be set an API key there, but before you paste that, um, ensure you include a, the prefix bearer space, then paste in your secret key. The same thing goes for your um, live keys as well, but for the purpose of this video, I'll use my test keys throughout. And that's it. Now that we are done with the configuration of the plugin, next we want to do is use this in our application to accept payments. We already have a sample application set up here. Um, the application is an events marketplace where customers can purchase tickets and also add events to their calendar. And what we want is that customers should be able to make payments for these tickets using Paystack. Now back to the designer. In our design page, I'll go to the checkout page. All right. Now that we're here, um, we want to add in the paystack button. Find that and drag it onto the page. Once it's on there, you can resize to fit your page. right that looks good now we have our button and we can set the parameters um, to customize the payment so the first field to fill in is the customer email address um, you can set this to the current user's email but in this video i won't be signing in the user so i'll set a fixed email address lookman at email.co so for the amount, we're going to choose the um, amount set for the event listing. So here, group payment, payment amount. But um, one thing to note is that the amount accepted by the Paystack plugin is the smallest monetary unit. So whatever the val amount is, you have to multiply by 100. So if it is 20 Naira, um, that would be 2000 Kobo as it is. So here, just multiplied by 100 all right um the reference is the unique identifier for the transaction if you don't pass one we would set one for you uh, split code and sub accounts are used to split payments with multiple partners or a single partner respectively um, you also have the option of um, displaying or hiding the secured by paystack badge Let's conf we can configure the background color of the button 
to fit the theme of our page. And that looks much better. Now, finally, we have metadata, a metadata object here. This field just accepts any valid um, stringified JSON objects containing extra information that you want to record alongside the transaction. Um, and yeah, you can fill in this uh, page for, let's insert dynamic data with. Defense card, listing name so yeah, just and now we can go ahead and test this in our app all right so back here and refresh pair will pay stack 20 rands yeah that's correct i'll make the payments boom We've been able to embed the checkouts on our page and customers are able to complete payments now. But what happens after that? How do the customers get their tickets? How do we deliver value to the customers who make payments on our website? To do that, we take advantage of Bubble's workflows. In Bubble, you can create workflows such that when an event happens, do so-and-so action. Uh, for our own workflow, what we want is that when the transaction succeeds, we want to record the transaction in our database. After recording the transaction, you uh, send an email to the customer with the um, their ticket information. And lastly, after doing that, you redirect the customer to a thank you page, another confirmation page. So it's a four-step workflow that we, we want in our, in our use case. S starting with... Uh, when a pay stack button transaction is successful, that's the event that would kickstart this. All right, so when it is successful, what the action we want here is a plugin action to call verify transaction. Now, the verify transaction endpoints, as the name implies, it verifies the status of the transaction, but not only that, it also returns the entire transaction objects back to you so you can create a record in your database so call verify transaction the reference here would be the pay buttons transaction reference all right and after doing that data create a new thing here's where we insert the transaction record into our db Type payments. Oh. Oh, all the all the values I'm, I'm saving in DB, I'm getting them from the verified transaction call. So the costs, the customer email address. reference yes paid yes payment dates now and finally description uh, we use the metadata paid for field for the description okay and lastly one we'll it's only when the transaction status is success that's what, that's when we want to save the transaction and after doing after creating the record the next step is to send the customer an email so letting them know customer email address Right, 
adding tickets purchased. Transaction reference to grant you access. And inserts the transaction reference. All right, simple. And uh, finally here, um, we direct the customer to a thank you page. So go to page, um, that would be, thank you. All right. And that's it. That's the, uh, um, we are done with our workflow. So when you paste that button, let's go through that. When you paste that transaction is successful, verify the transaction using the reference. Um, if the status is successful, set all of these parameters in the DB, send an email to the customer, and lastly, redirect the customer to a thank you page. Now let's test this and see if it's working. Right, payments went through. Verifying transaction. And boom. And yes, just as expected, we were redirected to our um, thank you page at the end of that workflow. Can confirm from the DB as well to ensure that the it was really saved in there. And yeah, we can see that. Look my middle code, a pop mix with big names. Yes. And so and so time. And that's it. All right. That's the end of our integration. We are now able to accept payments on our event ticket marketplace and issue tickets to customers when it's successful. I hope you found this tutorial video helpful. The use case for your application can be similar or slightly different, but we have made the plugin flexible to accommodate a wide array of scenarios. You can find the documentation explaining in detail how the plugin works linked to this video. If you have any questions or running into any issues while integrating or future requests for improvements coming to the plugin, please send an email to support.pastack.com and we will be glad to help. Thank you.